Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making Instant Pot Creamy Mac and Cheese. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. Now if you are new to our channel, welcome. If not, go ahead and push subscribe and that little bell so you can get all of my notifications every time I post to YouTube. Now this Instant Pot Mac and Cheese is one of my favorites because it's a dump and go recipe and it takes about 15 minutes to throw together. All right guys, let's head on over to the kitchen and make this Instant Pot Creamy Mac and Cheese. Now with this recipe, push saute before you begin. Then you're gonna add four cups of water. Next you're gonna add four tablespoons of butter and you literally can just throw it right in there. Next is one pound or 16 ounces of macaroni. You can use any kind of macaroni, but I like the elbow macaroni. Then go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of salt right on top of everything. Now stir it up just a little bit so all the macaroni is covered by the water. Now you're just gonna put your lid on, seal it closed, and make sure it's on sealing, not venting. So for the timer on this, we're gonna push manual, and then go all the way down to four minutes. Yep, you heard that right, four minutes for noodles. When it's done, you're gonna let it release on its own to five minutes. Then you're gonna go ahead and push it to venting. Now mine was foaming a little bit, so when that happens, go ahead and put a paper towel on it, and then it won't spray all over your kitchen. When it's done releasing, you're just gonna go ahead and take the lid off. So when it's done cooking, you're gonna add the whipping cream. So you're gonna add about a cup. I didn't add a whole cup, but a cup is what the recipe calls for. Now I'm gonna add about two cups of cheddar cheese. Now if you like it really cheesy, you can add up to two and a half cups. Now for the seasoning. I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic salt on top. Then I'm gonna add, it said about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of parsley but I'm just gonna eyeball it. My kids don't like parsley very much, so I'm just using a tiny bit. All right, once all your ingredients are together, you are just going to mix it up. Now, the one thing I love about this recipe is that you can make it how you like it. So my kids love to eat it with hot dogs. My husband loves bacon on it. I personally love avocados. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe and push that little bell to get all of my Instant Pot recipes on Monday. We'll see you later.